In this presentation, you're going to have the exciting opportunity to learn all about insect metamorphosis. But first, what is metamorphosis? Metamorphosis is the process of changing from an immature or baby form into an adult form. It's important to also note that there are at least two distinct stages in metamorphosis. There are two main types of metamorphosis in insects. The first type is holometabola. This is also known as complete metamorphosis. There are four distinct stages in this type of metamorphosis in insects. The first stage in holometabola is the egg. Almost all animals start out this way. The second stage in holometabola is the larva. These are sometimes called caterpillars or maggots, depending on the species of insect you're talking about. They have six legs, just like the adult, and they look kind of like little worms. The third stage in holometabola is the pupa. This is sometimes called a cocoon or chrysalis. Inside of a hard shell, the larva is losing its immature parts and growing its adult parts. The fourth and final stage of holometabola is the adult stage. In this stage, the insect is all grown up and ready to reproduce. Some insects that exhibit holometabola, or complete metamorphosis, include butterflies and moths, beetles, lacewings, flies, bees, and ants. The second type of metamorphosis in insects is hemimetabola. This is also known as incomplete metamorphosis. This occurs in three distinct stages. The first stage in hemimetabola is the egg, just like our holometabolic friends and most animals. The second stage in hemimetabola is known as the nymph. A nymph is just a fancy word for an immature. It's smaller than the adult and has smaller, underdeveloped wings. It also doesn't have any sex parts. The final stage in hemimetabola, just like in holometabola, is called an adult. This is just a grown-up version of the insect. It has sex parts and fully developed wings. This guy is all ready to reproduce. Some insects that exhibit hemimetabola or incomplete metamorphosis include grasshoppers, mantises, stick insects, and cicadas. 